Hi guys, we are sound checking for Tony Davis uh, drum, like V Drum Clinic, V Drum Workshop. So right now I'm in the backstage of uh, the guitar store. So let's check it out. Ciao, he's sound checking right there. There's two three inputs, one for each camera, and then this iPad as well where I put where I put all the slides. Uh, and as you can see at the back, this one is very easy to use. As you can see, very easy to use. Just with the press the button. If I want to show the slide, I just do this. But uh, and then this is what I for the effects. Yes, you have a drum set at home? I can have acoustic. Acoustic drum set? Yeah. 
neighbors never complain? Uh, it's the evening. Evening? Or morning. Or morning. Okay. That's good. Well, what these drums can do for, for us as a drummer, if I bring down the whole volume of drums, and this is what's going to happen. In this, we can clearly hear that the neighbors will never complain. I'm going to show you what some of the sounds that we have here just to make you understand that it feels almost like an acoustic kit, okay? and even choking the cymbals. So it's very fast. The triggering works extremely fast than some of the other brands that makes electronic drums. I've been playing electronic drums for many, many years. In fact, I started with electronic drums and then I played the acoustic and now I will play both acoustic and, and electronic and maybe like a hybrid kit. So these are the basic sounds that in here, that's in one of the sound that I have actually, uh, with the help of uh, my friend Acha, who helped me to, to help me set up some of the sounds here. So I'm gonna go through the other sounds that's already in here. So if you are a speed metal guy like my friend, so the trigger is always been like this, you know, they, they have this very, punchy and mini sound. Or, if you're not a speed drummer, a speed metal drummer, if you're a compact like with 10 ring I have. So with this kind of sound, you always will learn how to play that kind of music, like if I'm getting this, I like to play either like a funk or like a drum and bass. Okay.
sounds very uh, world music. So I will be more like 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 world rhythm. Individually, so this is still loud. For this one to be softer, and the kick is so I don't have to go under the kick. So anytime we hit this, it changes to to the toms, to the right, to the press, to the hi hats as well. So it's really easy using this uh, module. It's very friendly user. And other than that, we also have tuning. Snare tuning, really cranking up. Like it's very difficult to have this kind of tuning on an acoustic case, right? And remember this one. Okay, let's let's go out and go to another music here and we go to tuning. And sometimes we can even do. Muffling. Let's go to another one. Okay. So far, 
Is there any question that you want to ask me about the drums? Anything? It's free of charge, you need to pay. And I always get this silence from me. I've done many things, it's always been a silent thing. Alright, but you get the idea of this, right? And not forgetting the bass drum as well. Now I'm using a single pedal. Even if you have a double pedal, there's a space where, where you can still attach three pedals. And it's going to give both the beater the same level. Because some other brands, they don't have the trigger covered fully on the on the surface of the, of the bass drum skin. But not with roller. It's very uh, steady and it's a very steady bass drum. It doesn't move. I'm kicking quite hard. And whatever technique that you're using, heel down, heel up, heel toe, it's gonna work. So your technique wise, it's not going to spoil even if you are playing acoustic drums, it's the same. Some people normally will ask me, oh, or tell me or share with me, saying that, oh, the, the, the V drums, the pads are so small compared to acoustic, they are big. And if you come to think of it, right, as a drummer, this is my opinion to this. We're only going to hit the center of the head, right? Even the drums. And sometimes you go outside the ring area to get the bars or even a tighter tune. And you can still do, but the idea is you're still hitting that one surface and that one surface is like that much. But you've got the whole space. So it doesn't matter even if you have a big one, you're still going to hit the center. You're not going to do that. So in this way also, you're going to learn how to play very intuitive, you know, so going to hit the center, center, and also space-wise, like, I've been playing long enough, but sometimes I don't like to really go like that, you know, I feel uncomfortable like this, it's just nice, like this, is a 12-inch uh, snare drum, which also is yeah, uh, available in acoustic snare drum, so this feeling, the sizes, marker, uh, sorry, uh, muting it, you know, and playing wise, the feel wise, everything sounds perfect. Many, many sounds. You can layer your sounds. Or for the fact, if you have your own sample, like you like your bass drum sound, you sample that sound, one hit, put your SD card in, import that sample, layer it with a with either you want that particular sound or you can layer together with what we will have. So you have two sounds coming up at the same time with the bass sound. So you just imagine how big the bass sound sound can be. Right? This is more for the advanced advanced side if you want to. Right. That's pretty much covering up the Roland TV 17 KVX. And if you're wondering what is this one is, I was playing all my backing tracks from here. This is the Roland SPD SX. What it does is, if I want to explain in a very simple way, it's like a, a tape that's empty and you want to record whatever and you put it in any of these pads. We got nine pads here. So if let's say you have a song, you want to put the intro on this pad, the chorus on this pad, the verse, uh, sorry, the, the bridge of the solo on this particular pad, right? And also it has some built-in sounds because sometimes, most of the time now, I'm using this pad to get all my, my percussion sounds like this. Oh, sorry. So I get my chimes. I got a cowbell, a small splash, all my congas, timbales, and like a uh, sudo. 
So with this, I'm also playing drums at the same time. So I'm playing this. with you, the job opportunity wise also opens up and I'm always, I love sharing so you can take the same idea, if it's going to work for you, don't forget to mention my name and add me on your Instagram please. So that's percussion sounds and also like, like different drum sounds like this one. Do you remember what sound is this? It's very, what? Sorry? It, it's, it's called the TR-909. But it's very famous song before. It's Michael Jackson. The way you make me feel. So I use all these kind of lyrics. Sometimes I have a beat drums, but most of the times the venues that I'm playing is acoustic. So I combine both. So with this, you'll go like, wow, you sound so amazing, the sound is so big. But because of all this, so imagine if you have any, like if you want to have a, a singer that you can't have and you want that singer to be in this, yes, you can sample that singer and put in here and then you don't have to pay her. So other than that, what I do with this pad is I have my samples here like drum, uh, like sound samples and also songs. Oh, I've got many songs. So, like this one, Uptown Funk. And I'm using an in here here. So I also have a separate uh, phones out. So what I am hearing in my headphones is the song and the click. But what you're gonna hear is not the click. Only the first round because I I forgot to pick up this click. But there you go. No. Now, in my ears is the click as well, so I know my time. I can go anywhere.
So this is another way you can uh, import the samples in a different context. Like just now was mainly songs. The whole song is going to play one time like this one. If you feel like to start a song with a solo, please start with a solo. Or you want to start with a... You know, that, that kind of feeling. So, this is very, very useful. If you notice, a lot of these drummers these days, any concerts, they must have this. In this way, the band, again, becomes smaller, but they sound very big because of all this. Thanks to Roland for this technology. I've used it a lot, and as you can see, it's actually supposed to be really black, but you know, over the years, they turn to gray because we all get old. <laughs> so that's the Roland sample pack. i like to say thank you so much to Guitar Store for having me here, Mr. Lau, Mr. Kwa, and also Dennis from Roland for also having me here and, and always been supporting me for many years already and still supporting me and also Master Wong, please give it up for Roland as well, please thank you and Guitar Store and a round of applause for you guys as well for showing up, although it's a little uh, crowd but I'm still enjoying doing what I do and this is what I do. So if you got this information right, please go and share it with your friend. And if you add me on your social media, I'll be uploading some stuff so that you can know and you can get to know one another. You know? And also to 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 Acha and Georgie for for helping me out with the setup and stuff. So thank you very much for having me here. God bless. So the drum the drum workshop went well, everyone was happy and we are packing up so all the things I packed in inside so yeah so this is Achap and we are in the guitar store stage 552 and hope you guys enjoy the short snippet that I got from, from my GoPro and stay tuned for more videos like this see you guys in the next video